Happy New Year everyone and uh, this is the year of 2024 and we are back. I'm Garmin Scythe and we're going to play uh, College Kings 2, the pool party, reworked. We have just, well not just, it was last year after all, finished the pool party. We have gone on a photo shoot with uh, Aubrey and I am considering dumping Penelope for her or Nora, haven't decided yet. But I am leaning away from, uh, from Penelope. It sucks, it's going to suck tremendously when it's actually happening, but the gameplay so far hasn't offered enough of Penelope's Penelope for that for me to keep on justifying that uh, uh, path. So we'll see how that goes. Now let's get into the comedy meeting and see how the actual how the pool party went. Let's go. Hey everyone, thanks for coming. It looks like we all survived the hangovers, okay? Except for me, I don't drink alcohol. Really? So you can be my designated driver for all our future events? With pleasure, my lady. Yeah, Ferris. Get a soccer mom van and you can drive us all around. Like a pre-drinks party bus. That's actually a great idea. I'm going to write that down. I mean, it's actually not a bad idea. If you got a couple of people who are uh, don't drink but like to have fun, you can still have them be the designated drivers. Give them some cash, and it's all good, you know. <laughs> well, just don't get too crazy while I'm driving. There's no guarantee of anything once the put bus is on the move. Oh man, what have I gotten myself into? Okay, let's focus now everyone. I want to keep this uh, de debrief brief. <laughs> Did you just chuckle? I don't know what what's the difference between a chuckle and a laugh, I don't know. <laughs> What the hell's a chuckle? Huh? Why don't you know what a chuckle is? Yeah, it was a funny turn of phrase. Yeah, oh! No, what the hell's a chuckle? Yeah, it was a funny turn of phrase, the brief brief. They are talking different things here. What the hell it was that chuckle? Uh, would have made sense. Otherwise, they are talking about two completely different things. Guys, please. Okay. Focusing now. First of all, I just want to say a big thanks to everyone for the work you put into the party. All the way from securing the venue through to tidying up at the end. It really shows that we're, we're a great team and that's a solid foundation for the next event. Well done, us! Yeah! It could have been better, but I noticed pretty much everyone at the party was having a good time too. Kurt, I know you skipped out on a few opportunities to give the party vibe high. Kurt, I know you skipped out on a few opportunities to keep the party vibe high. But that's something we can all learn from the next event. What did I do wrong though? Yeah, fair enough. I mean, I can't be everywhere all the time. I know, you did your best. Which brings me to the money we raised. We did pretty good actually, not the best, but it could have been a lot worse. Whatever the next event is, we'll be able to cover the basics, but we won't have the luxury of choosing whatever we want. So long as we can put together some sort of event, I'm sure we'll still find a way to make it good. That's the type of positive thinking I like. Maybe I could have done a little more hustling for the nation, but uh, what's done is done. And that's everything, really. I'll be in touch again as soon as we're ready to start planning the next event. I'm already looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. Whatever it's going to be. Party of birds! Another pool party, strip club party. Oof. Really? You can't... Also, I mean, 
having a, a weekly, bi-weekly pool party would be cool, but we can't impose ourselves on Elijah and Mrs. Woods like that all the time. So party bus, strip club is uh, not, it's only going to go with the guys. So party bus. I thought we already agreed. Party bus. It's a possibility. Maybe get someone else to drive though. Yeah, like a professional chauffeur. Sh chauffeur. Chauffeur. See, we're already planning it. Okay, but I think it's best if we take a break from all the event chat for now so we can collect our thoughts. Okay, you're the boss. Is that everything for now then? Yeah, we're all done here. I need to he I need to head off to do some SVC times work now anyway. And I'm halfway through fixing a laptop. I really need to get back to it. Oh, and here's the one last thing for you, Kurt. Yeah? The Flamingo Inflatable is still at Elijah's mom's house. I need you to go return it before we get charged a late fee. Ah, okay. Yeah, I can do that. Thanks. So we're heading to Elijah's mom, I guess. But first we have some something going on here. Nothing here, I guess. Jeez, why is it lagging so badly? And... Uh, there we go. Lauren. Hey, sorry it's been a while. I've been so busy. Come over later. Riley will be here too. Okay, I got some more uh, pool party errand to do. Then I'm all yours. Good. It does feel like ages since I've seen Lauren's little face. <sighs> okay, time to deflate this sucker. But first, maybe one last pool party selfie for Kiwi. Take selfie, don't take- take a selfie! And done! Sorry to let you down, my friend. You served us good, but I need to squeeze you back inside this box. <sighs> Squash you right down on top of that deflated banana. Ah, <sighs> finally! It's kind of weird coming back here when it's so quiet. What are you thinking? There's no doubt about it. By the time I get to the store, I'm gonna have a s have sweated all the way through this shirt. Okay. Interesting. I honestly thought uh, Mrs. Woods would show up and try something with us. Hmm. Maybe if we had played more with her during the pool party. Nice timing. Yeah, I can't wait to find out how the lingerie sale is going. Oh, so that's what this is about. Hey guys, come on in. So, how are the sales going? Don't keep us in suspense. Or should that be suspenders? Oh ha ha, yeah, don't keep us in suspenders, Lauren. Okay, okay, I, I won't. So here's the news, which brings me to my next question. But what are the news? You didn't say what the news were. Ah, jeez, there's some. It's really upsetting me that some of the lines are simply missing. Which brings me to my next question. I'm putting most of the profit towards mine and Autumn's college fees, but I need to keep uh, some to put back into the business. What do you think I should spend it on? Treat yourself, business stuff, photo shoots. That's a good question. I think business stuff, If even if you're not using it right away, you shouldn't just waste it all. So business stuff? Whatever business stuff costs money. Whatever whatever business stuff costs money. 
Well, thanks for narrowing that down for us, Kurt. Hey, I'm trying here. Materials, labor costs, shipping, advertising. It's an endless list, huh? Pretty much. Okay, so spend it all on that then. Oh, I will. The sooner I get somebody else to do all the sewing, the better. It's taking up all my time. Well, I guess that's the end of Lawrence Lingerie, phase one. I wouldn't have made it this far without you guys, so thanks. No problem at all. Yeah, you're totally welcome. And I bought some wine to celebrate. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get some glasses. <laughs> and a good big thank you hug. Yeah, that's nice. Oh wow, that wine has gone straight to my head. We did empty that bottle pretty fast. You feeling okay though? I feel great. I want to celebrate more. More wine, time to go, have a threesome, there we go. That's the one, uh, but no. More wine, if she wants to celebrate more, have some more wine. But what is our relationship with everyone? I can't seem to check that, but I believe we kissed and maybe, yeah. Riley is most likely friends with benefits, so it could work, but I'm not hopeful for it. So more wine. And I don't want it either. So let's have more wine. I only bought one bottle. Wow, serious lack of forward planning there, Lauren. I thought that one would be enough. It was enough. Curse just acting like a fish. It's not my fault I developed a thirst. And anyway, we need to be heading to campus soon. Alright, yeah. What are you up to on campus? Um... It's okay. If it was anybody else asking, we wouldn't tell. Charlotte is the one behind the SVC rejects page, and we're going to confront him. What? That's crazy! Yeah, we couldn't believe it either. I think we should probably go now, actually. Wish us luck. Yeah, good luck. And be careful. Report back to me as soon as you've talked to him. Will do. I was actually starting to feel a little nervous about confronting Charlie, but uh, that wine has really helped. Yeah, I got a good buzz going on now too. But let's try and keep our focus. The meeting room is booked, Charlie's due to arrive at 3, everything's set. We just need to wait for him. Yeah, that's the easy part. Hmm, hopefully. It'll be easy enough, he'll be easy to deal with. But you never know. Hopefully he'll be easy to deal with, but you never know. Ten to three. Okay, now I'm getting nervous. Me too, just relax. Why so nervous? Me too. Me too. I swear time you slow down. Yeah, it's so painful watching this clock. Ten minutes to go. It's showtime. Come on, Charlie. Where are you? He's not very punctual, is he? Surely any second now. Is he blowing us off? <gasps> He's blowing us off! Where the hell is he? Do you think he's coming? No, he is blowing us off, I believe so. No, I think it's a bust. Let's just go. 
Damn it. I really thought this would work. Oh. <gasps> oh no! He ran away! We didn't plan for that! What the hell did you think was going to happen? He's gonna just sit down and continue to see. You're not... Uh, what's his name? Hanson. Uh, the, the predator guy. What now? Run after him! Boom! Ah. Stay right there, Charlie. Yeah, your little game is finished. I don't know what you're talking about. Leave me alone! <laughs> we can't kick him. He will uh, use that somehow. Better not kick him while he's down. Don't act innocent, Charlie. We know. Yeah, we know you set up the SVC rejects page. Don't even waste your breath denying it. Kurt and Riley, the SVC idiots. Sounds like you finally rubbed a few brain cells together. Okay, so figure that out. And what? And you're going to hand uh, the admin rights over to us. Yeah, of course I am. Not. Just do what she's asking, Charlie. How did you know it was me? Because you're arrogant, you overplayed your hand. Actually, I really don't care how you figured it out. I'm ordering a cab. Not before you made things right. No chance. I'm getting the hell out of here, away from you losers. The cab is still gonna be at least five minutes away. You're the loser, we're the winners, we're a limp dick and freak. <laughs> yeah, we're a limp dick and freak. That's good. Actually, we're a limp dick and freak. According to you, that is. <laughs> so you adopted them as your nicknames. That's the saddest thing I've ever heard. I thought we were going to attack him. We were we were playing superheroes. Jesus. This isn't the time for jokes, Kurt. Give me your phone, Charlie. No. Never happening. I'm walking away from you now. And if you try to stop me, I'm calling the police. What you're doing is wrong. Tell somebody who cares. I'm going to see to it that you all suffer from messing with me. I said, give me your phone. And I said, no, bitch. Oh, I'm seeing red right now. Boom. Oh, my nose! Holy shit, Riley! You broke my nose! It's not broken. Yeah, it'd be bleeding if it was broken. You! You hit me! You hit me first! Ow! Yeah, this time he actually does uh, deserve it. What the fuck? can't do that, that's private property! And our lives are private, you didn't mind that line being crossed, did ya? I'm letting everyone know, you'll never be able to set foot in San Vallejo again after this. Tom will be on the lookout for you. Oh, that's guaranteed. I hate you! Do you want to take the photo of him? Yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah. I do. Wait, if that's boyfriend, is that bro? No, both are boyfriend. Okay. Yeah, I do. And I need to edit the photo with some text like he did with ours. Guilty, loser, prick. Guilty. And on zero zero is Charlie. 
that we can like. Me and Kurt caught him! Wow, well done! No way! Oh yeah, I remember that dude! No, I was enjoying these his posts! What the fuck, Shorty? Me and Kurt, and uh, well done, no way. Bad boy Imre, I mean that is actually kind of funny, but he th this was ruining people's lives, so I can't like it. But that that will do. It's a perfect photo of you, Charlie. It really shows off your best side. Whatever. Just give me my phone back now. Not yet. I'm assigning the admin rights to me. Then I can remove all the other photos later. And done. <sighs> okay. It doesn't matter anyway. I still got you back for what you did. You're in a world of pain. What are you talking about? I bet you've been pretty worried about those letters your friends have been receiving. Who do you think reported all the shit you guys get up to? Oh! That is brilliant! I mean, it's petty as all fuck and it's not the best of writing. But it's great that they are actually incorporating more stuff into the plot. Uh, because in the earlier game it was just people were upset about the partying and all the drinking and stuff. Now, it's actually an enemy that we have something to focus on. That's good. You're buying that too? Why can't you just leave us all alone? Oh, what's coming is much worse. Enjoy the investigations coming your way. Some people call this guy the Terminator. He's going to end you. <laughs> who? Yeah, who are you talking about? You'll find out soon enough. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Yeah! That is a great start to the new year. Back to basics. Here we go. I didn't. I did know that we were going to get into it really soon because we had just finished the pool party. But I didn't expect it to be this soon, honestly. Eight times. That's how often the frat that won the winter versus also ended up winning the summer showdown in the last ten years. Eight out of ten times. Any of you that think this tournament doesn't matter or is, or is insignificant compared to the Summer Showdown is a fool. I see you guys at the gym, day in, day out, lifting, sparring, working on your form. Well, most of you at least. What is it all for, if not for this? For those of you that are freshmen, let me explain what the Winter Versus is. It's a short form tournament. The top 5 fighters from each fraternity pitted against each other by rank. 5th place against 5th place, 4th place against 4th place and so on. Every fighter gets one fight, win or lose. The friend with the most wins at the end of the Winter Versus takes home the trophy. Now freshmen, I got the good news for you. Two of those places have to be the first years, so if you worked hard enough, you will be able to compete. The tournament will be held on Friday, December 23rd, exactly two weeks from now. Train hard and help your brothers prepare for what's to come. We will decide on your exact ranking and who's going to be fight on the day before. Until then, it's up to you to put in the work and prove yourself to the pack. What about the vote? Mm -hmm. You said you were gonna call for a vote a few weeks ago, whether you should continue to be Wolf's president. That's still gonna happen? I was waiting for the right moment. We're all here now. Okay, yeah fine, let's vote. Members of the Wolves, I tried my best to be loyal, determined and understanding leader to all of you. 
but I've made mistakes, mistakes that are hard to forgive. I'm not a perfect leader, nor am I infallible, but who really is? Who hasn't made a mistake? I ask you today to vote again. If you want me as your president, vote remain. If you want me to resign so we may find someone more suited for the task, vote resign. Like that's gonna be difficult. Imre? It's in your hands now, brothers. Remain or resign. What are you gonna vote? <laughs> you joking? Chris is the most incompetent leader I've ever seen. Yeah, honestly, Sebastian is most likely a better candidate. He punched me for fuck's sake. I respect him, you're right. I mean... I did respect him in the beginning of the game, he seemed very capable. But the more we see of him, the less... Um, competent he shows off as. I mean, he couldn't even come out and say that he uh, is not together with Nora anymore. What the fuck, man? Trouble point may added. Yeah, so he is. N I don't respect him anymore because he can't even tell the truth to a teacher he respects. Yeah, you're probably right. But who else is gonna be president? Sebastian? Aaron? Me? Anyone's better than Chris. You? Oh god, you'd be a terrible leader. Hey, I have redeeming qualities. Okay, everyone, time to cast your votes. Ah, fuck, decision time. Vote for Chris to remain, vote for Chris to resign. Resign. Hopefully, we'll find someone better. And the last vote is... Remain. Congratulations, Chris. Looks like you'll keep you'll keep being our president. God damn it! Wow. Thank you, guys. And only two people voted for me to resign. I really appreciate all the love. So tradition, huh? Tradition kept you here. I guess Chris had more support here than we thought. Chris, before we wrap this up, do you want to address this? SVC Times Auditor Dirk Merkin to clean up San Vallejo College. Ugh. Internal Auditor. Yes, good point, Harry. You guys... Wait, that's a lot of text. You guys may have seen the article in the student magazine that the SVC board has selected for an internal auditor to come in. We already knew something like that was coming, thanks to Kurt getting the information uh, out of Charlie. The auditor's job will be to keep an eye on student drug use, criminal activity, and fighting. I know this doesn't sound very good, but fighting has always been against SVC's rules. They never once cracked down on us, so let's not jump to conclusions. Hopefully, we can keep it under the radar, and they'll have no idea our tournament is happening. Just be careful, and don't give them a reason to take a closer look at us. One last thing. Your frat that won last year's summer showdown traditionally hosts a big party the night before the winter versus. So I expect everyone to be at the ape's house on the 22nd. Hell yeah! Thank you. That's all. Kurt, could you stay behind for a second? He knows I'm voted against him. Look. You didn't fight well at the freshman brawl. Oh, okay. And even though you won some scraps outside of the tournament, if you don't put in the work, you're not making the top five. Right now, Perry is bidding you for the last uh, last slot. Put in the time or it'll be him fighting, not you. I'm gonna train harder, this is bullshit, I'm better. I'm gonna train harder. Yeah, sure. Thanks for letting me know. I'll train as hard as I can. Good. All right, and that's all. Get out of here and start training. Thanks. Congratulations on the vote, by the way. By the way. Right. I know it was you and Imre who voted against me. Ah, 
how close are you with the other um, uh, newcomer? I've already forgot his name. Uh, in order to know, I, he's not the one who voted against you. It wasn't me. Sure. It doesn't matter now, so get out of there and start training. Traditional pub food served here. Chloe works here? So, this is what you wanted to do. Whatever it is uh, Chloe wants, us to, wants to do, you'll have to wait and find out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. And remember, just because you're not the main character, it doesn't mean you're not important. Goodbye, everyone.